Hello, thank you for joining us today. My name is Tina Malti, and I'm an author of a recent issue, The Monograph of the Society for Research and Child Development, and the work is titled The Development of Respect in Children and Adolescents, and I'm here with my co-author. Hi there, my name is Joanna Peplak, and our third co-author is Lin Lin Zhang. So respect is an essential part of everyday life. It tells us something about how we treat um, others and how others treat us. So it has a lot to do with human dignity. In psychological theories, respect has been defined as a feeling of esteem in response to the recognition of the good and ethical qualities or behaviors of another. And it matters for our own well-being, but also for kindness and harmonious relationships and more broadly social equality. So based on previous theorizing by Jean Piaget, we wanted to explore three research aims. The first is, how do children conceptualize respect? Secondly, are there any age-related differences in children's respect concepts? And third, how is respect related to pro-social and anti-social behaviors? We examine these questions in two separate diverse samples of children ages 5 to 15 years, as well as their primary caregivers and their teachers. So we employed a mixed qualitative and quantitative approach with using multiple informants. And first we conducted open-ended interviews with children and we asked a variety of questions, one of which was, what does it mean to feel respect for someone? Then we conducted a semi-structured vignette procedure where we told children a variety of stories and we asked them how much respect they felt for the protagonist and why they felt that much respect for them. We also assessed children's pro-social behavior and their aggressive behavior by collecting child and parent reports as well as teacher reports and peer nominations. Let's move to our findings. How do children conceptualize respect across ages? One of our key findings is that children predominantly conceptualize respect as a pro-social issue. So they mentioned pro-social themes, as you can see on the two figures. We also found that with increasing age, children mentioned fairness motives. So fairness and equality are themes that come up when they talk about respect. So here's an example of a seven-year-old boy who talks about pro-social themes. So what does it mean to feel respect for someone? Um, saying nice things mm -hmm. to new um, students. Okay. Um, sharing, sharing things what the new student likes. Like um, they like playing um, maybe they like playing um additions um flashcards. Okay. So let so let them. If there is another person who wants to play different flashcards, maybe, maybe you guys could share. Maybe you guys have to take half. Oh, okay. Here's an example of an 11-year-old boy who talks about fairness in relation to respect. What do you think respect means? Well, respect means to be treated like everybody else, the way other people want to be treated. Regarding links with behavior, we found that children who made meaning of respect um, using fairness conceptions and themes of equality were rated as less aggressive by their teachers. And regarding links between respect and prosocial behavior, uh, we found that children's feelings of respect towards others' good behavior, so their prosocial behavior, their um, fairness, was positively related to their prosocial behavior and how they reasoned about their respect feelings um, in terms of fairness and prosociality was also positively related to their prosocial behavior. To summarize our key findings, children of all ages viewed respect as being an ethically salient emotion based in principle of kindness and prosociality. We've also seen that many children identified fairness-related themes as a central element of respect, and they increasingly did so with age. And lastly, respect was in part associated with decreased over-depression and increased pro-social behaviors. What do our findings mean? First of all, our findings provide some first evidence that children see respect as something that has to do with kindness, and that challenges traditional accounts of respect that have focused on authority, status and social hierarchies. 
you also see that there is an essential role of pro-sociality and kindness and in interventions that aim to nurture respect in children because of this emphasis on pro-sociality, along with strategies that target the promotion of self-reflection in relation to fairness considerations. What are the implications for social policies? Policies that facilitate positive contact, the opportunity to step into other shoes, and concern for others are likely to contribute to the development of respect in and of every child. Thank you for listening. And thank you to all the children, caregivers, teachers, and principals who participated, as well as our funders.